Hello everybody and welcome to the Sovereign Village Project. I wanted to show you what we're doing over here at the five acre site to protect our fruit and nut trees and shrubs that we've recently planted from deer browse. We have a lot of deer coming through this property. Nobody's living on the site yet and it's recently been cleared in several areas like over there for the house site. And so there's lots of things in there that the deer like to eat and they come and traffic through this property all the time, which is not necessarily a big problem, except that we have a lot of new fruit and nut trees planted. This here is a pathway and I'm lining it with elderberry and serviceberry and other things. And so what I've done to protect it from deer browse is put a bunch of old branches above it. I had to find a place for them anyway. And these are uh, kind of offering a, a lot of different benefits for us. They overhang this shrub and make it annoying to get to for the deer. Now, it wouldn't stop a determined deer or rabbit or anything from it, but there's easier food sources out there that we leave for them. So this really shelters it pretty well, protects it from a lot of different things, but also all of this wood will eventually rot down and become nice mulch and biomass for this guy to feed off of. And I'll also facilitate that by trimming it back as this plant gets stronger and bigger and more able to survive deer. I'll just make room for it. I'll just walk by. I just do a walk around the property all the time with a pair of pruners and that's really just about all you need to maintain a good food forest. So just a simple, totally free way to protect it. You can see it's barely in there. You can see another little elderberry here. And it didn't take me any time because I had to stack that brush somewhere. So there's so many little easy ways to stack functions and to uh, kill two birds with one stone on a property. Um, everybody, I hope you find creative ways to save time, labor, and effort on your homestead and share them in the comments. Stay safe, be well, and happy homesteading.